before we proceed let's first of all take a look at this clip right here for those of you guys who have not seen it watch very carefully and for those of you guys who have seen it stand still stay tuned for what's yet to come in 2019 i visited nigeria and some of the local places that I visited were places like Makoko, Shagamu, the Shrine. We was planning on teaming up with some of the local community leaders to contribute towards their events. But due to the global pandemic, these plans had come to a halt. So during this crisis, we thought it would be best to put some basic necessities together for some of the local people who may need it. Joshua, for giving us rice. We really appreciate Anthony Joshua for the gift. Thank you, Anthony Joshua. God bless you so much. We really appreciate Joshua. Keep on saying, keep winning. Of Africa, of Nigeria. So here's to Nigeria. One love, people. And I'll see you soon. Well, you guys have seen it, and probably you, some of you guys have seen it twice now or many times, I don't know. But one thing is certain right here, Joshua is a future president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I'm not saying this because, listen, I'm not saying this because of, you know, what he's done and all that. And I know some people will say, well, people have been doing that, the Nigerians will do that. Listen, the Nigerians who are doing that, you know, of course, we have billionaires like uh, Aliko Dangote, uh, uh, was it Femi or, or Tedela? Or Temi or Tedela, something like that, I don't know. Um, and uh, what was his name again? Um, Wale Adenuga. There are many, 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 many. I, don't even, I can't even count them. All of them are donating money. They say they've donated money. All are for shows. Okay, for shows. All are for shows. They're donating money to the, to the same people. Who of course corrupted the nation. Why Joshua didn't donate money, he donated nothing but the substances that our people, Nigerians back home, need to survive. And that's what actually matters. Because the money people keep saying they donate are all going to the federal government. And we know the people are saying they donate billions and all that. We know they're going to get that money right back. After they said they donated the money and all that, what happened to the to the office? You know, it got burned. It caught fire. <laughs> we know what happened, bro. We know all the documents there are all mixed, are missing right now. And we, we, there's no way we can find it again. There's no way we can recover it. So what Joshua has just done is something to be not just looked at as a, a form of good, good gesture but something to look at as a road to a revolution a revolution of goodwill for the people Joshua means well for Nigeria <clears throat> despite Nigeria you know, not really helping him. Let's not forget what happened, how he got rejected. Let's not forget the corruption that took place back in 2008. But that's about all the stuff Joshua still cares about his nation. He cares about Britain. He cares about Nigeria. He did this for Nigeria, for Nigerians. And I believe he's the kind of leader that we need in Nigeria. But I'm not saying Joshua will become president now. I mean, because I think he, 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 there's a long way to go for that. You still have to become undisputed, you know, achieve a lot in the spot of boxing. And I think in the future, he might purely pursue a, a political career. And looking at his, his, his the, the, the things he's done, he's been doing, you know, I mean, and he's going to do more, more, more he's going to do more. After this pandemic is over, he will be going to Nigeria to do more and believe Joshua is the future president. Hola, you there? You there, brother? Hola, you there? Oh, Ty. Yeah, hello. Yeah, bro, what's up? 
not much. I mean, you've seen, you, yeah. you've seen the video, right? I mean, you've seen it many times, plenty of times or so. Oh, yeah. Joshua, to me, is a future president of Nigeria. And these are the kind of leaders that we need. People that don't brag about donating money, donating billions, but you see the result. By the way, I caught someone from Makuku, you know, yesterday we were, I talked to the person. And yeah, he was very, he was very, very happy. He told me he got his chair from it, you know, from Joshua's gift. And that what Joshua did, he didn't, he just wanted to even talk about it like that. He didn't want to talk about it, you know. He wanted to keep it silent, oh. keep it quiet. But there are some people like saying, "Oh, why Joshua is not doing this, doing that?" That's why. Just like he put it up just to like show the people, show some people. Listen, I don't talk about something like this, but. I, I do care and I know it affects my people as well. What do you mm. think? You see, um, <clears throat> the truth is, let me start from this, yeah? It's not everything you do. You don't do things to be noticed. And when you don't do things to be noticed, that's when, when you do becomes valuable to those you're doing it to. And um, I would say one thing. A typical British born, yeah, don't do things for them to know I've done this. Listen, our lifestyle here is not for you to do things for people to know you've done this. Do it. Whether those that will know you do it will know, you don't have to make it obvious. You understand what I'm saying? That's a typical British kind of mentality way of doing things and stuff and that, and that, right? And in terms of looking at AJ, AJ is a type that, you know, it's been in the process of realizing not having. And when I say in that process was when he went to Nigeria and he decided to study in Nigeria and he was in boarding school in Nigeria, he's been able to understand some things. Right? He know what it's like to be in certain situations because now he's been there. Talk about in life in the UK as well. When we talk about, when we talk about the rough life, he's been there as well. He knows what it's like as well. I'm not talking about having the fame and everything now is there as well and the frame keeps coming and coming and coming right so there's a thing where for me personally i'm not gonna say maybe aj is a president to be aj is a leader if you get what i'm saying aj is a leader but when we look at in terms of talking about um being a president and stuff like that because as a president i'm not and which is one thing that kind of like gets to me especially when it comes to african president as a president in a way you're gonna have to be a puppet you're gonna have to be told things to do and things not to do i don't know if you get what i'm saying because as a president you're gonna and that's why i believe i've had so many things about you know nigerian president say okay they just put them there for this reason for that reason oh i don't know i did not that but one thing i realized is for when it comes to african president but nigerian president you have to be there and you're going to have to be a puppet there because you're going to have to be there to work for certain people. And those ones you're working for, there is nothing you can do to them. You're just going to have to follow how, you know, how they want you to do things and stuff and that and that. And that. You get what I'm saying? But AJ is just that leader. And as a true leader, all he's going to do is listen to what people are saying. Listen, understand what's really going on. And come out in a way where nobody will expect you to come out from. And um, by the time they look back, like, oh, well done, thank you. You know, people coming out, AJ do this, AJ, the truth is this, yeah, no matter what AJ does, he's not going to go around to everybody. But the thing that is, just like when he went to Nigeria last year, he didn't go to the posh area, he chose to go to the ghetto side. And if it's, and this is what I'm talking about, now there's someone that's understood things in different categories and that. He went to the ghetto side. And if he's going to say he's looking into, bringing up or deciding to help sign people he's gonna start from the ghetto side as well he's not gonna start from the port side because he knows those ones 100 percent will have things they can use to sustain themselves those in the ghetto side probably will not really have that much to do i don't know if you get what i'm saying and that is where it is in terms but if you look into a presidential kind of thing and that, and that right you it's gonna be a thing of riches to deal with riches you know, the big ones today were the big ones, and AJ is not that kind of person. Even with the things it does in the UK and that, and that, it's not things it does in the open. 
you don't need to know what he's doing. And it does not have to be there to let you know I've done this. Just like with the UK as well. Even taking out what he's doing. AJ is helping so many people in terms of making money. Even with the way the lockdown is, it's, it's kind of like is kind of like introduce many things for people to be able to make money while they're sitting at home. So in terms of that, I personally just see AJ as a true leader, but not a president. So I'll leave it there. Bro, what do you mean not a president? Don't, if if Joshua becomes a, a, a president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, don't you think that would be amazing? You see, the thing that is, I'm not saying I'm not saying now. I'm not saying now no, because I, I know mm -hmm. his career like is still like we it's we still have fun. twenty twenty years ahead, twenty years. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying, yeah. like, the if we can, okay, it might not be Joshua himself because I don't, I don't know if Joshua would would like to do, would like to become president or you know. But I wish we could just have someone like Joshua, you know, in Nigeria. Yeah, you know, you have all these, all these, all these big men in Nigeria that even if they do something, even if they do, even if they do, uh, even if they just the sharing of sanitizers, you know. They will make sure everybody knows about it. Everybody knows about it. You know, they will make sure. Look at uh, 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 Liko Dangote. He donated um, uh, two million. Uh, it's not two billion uh, naira. Two billion naira. How much is that for the richest black man in the world? And look at uh, Femi or Tedola. Look how much he donated. Not even enough. And they are donat They donated this money to Nigerian government. Okay. To the Nigerian government, they all of them are the, they are the government. They have people who are in position. So I really trust them. I don't really trust. I don't really respect all these all these people though. But the reason why I respect you is because the guy the guy did not have to do it. He, he Nigeria never gave him shit. You know, Nigerian government frustrated the guy when he wanted to represent us. They frustrated the guy, not Nigerian government, but people. Uh, the coach is there in the, in, in, the, in the national team. They frustrate him, so he didn't have to do. He have to do it, but he know that he's the son of the soil. He just like, for example, me now. For example, I have plans of going to Nigeria to do to do something, you know. But due to the COVID nineteen stuff, I cannot do it now. And I also have plans. I have I also have plans to do some things uh, for pe some people back home. But due to what came up, you know, then uh, I ran out of money and something like that. If I had enough, I probably would have done something similar, you know, and wouldn't even talk about it though. But I mean, you know, I expect you to try, like we do expect you to try to do something like that. Indeed, and we're not talking about this only. We're talking about the way he carries himself, the way he is is with the people, you know. Don't you think? Joshua has a lot of ideas, or maybe okay, maybe 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 it can be like Akon, for example. Has Akon done stuff? For, has Akon be doing stuff for for Senegal? Has Akon be helping, helping Senegalese? I've not seen it yet, but maybe he does. But I think he will. But let's say for for example, like Akon, like you know, Akon has uh, Akon is an advisor to the president of his nation, and you see Senegal are moving in the right direction. Yeah, in the right direction compared to Nigeria, bro. Nigeria system is not in the right direction at all. We are in maybe you might say from one to ten, we are in we are, maybe we're in number number zero. Maybe zero. Maybe just zero. Okay. For Senegal is of course in number six. Nigeria number zero. No, like the Germans would say. No. Garnics. It's just how it is, bro. It's just like crazy. Don't you think like we need mind? Like when I, there was, you know, when I always talk about this, I'm not just saying it because I'm a fan of Joshua. We need minds like this. Minds that are not only about themselves. Minds that are lawyer. Minds that know what is best for the people. When was the last time we, 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 we saw someone like this? I mean, what, what was the last time we saw someone like this? The last time I saw someone like this was when for, during the Fela era, right? Fela, he helped Nigerians. Although he didn't have enough like that, but his message, 
was well heard by Nigerians. He made sure he like the Nigerians got the message. But fortunately, you know, we all heard the message, but these people decided to like forget about that because they 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 they, they were given some of five thousand naira. Because I remember Fela talking about Muhammad Buhari. Have you forgotten it? What he said about Muhammad Buhari? So let's not get it twisted, bro. Continue. I'm listening. All right, bro. I, I, it's, it sounds like a good idea. Um, I, I have no, I have no, I have nothing negative to say about it. If AJ feels like he, if AJ wants to, if he feels like he can do a good job at, uh, uh, being a uh, president, I've always believed the. Um, I think the term is time for if these if these old heads cannot think of the future, and they just think, and they just they they've been thinking of the old ways, you know. It's it's time to move and and pave a way for for the youth to take over. Because it seems like it's just a pattern with these uh, with these old heads. They've been doing the same thing over and over again, and it's not working for them. So I believe, I personally believe that AJ could do a good job. Um, he could do it while he's young. Why not? Let, let's have, let's let him have a crack at it because that's what that's what Nigeria needs. Nigeria needs young political minds, not old political minds that that have ter that have a terrible mindset. Of being stuck in the old ways. The old ways wasn't working. The old ways never worked. The old ways will never work. So that's what is setting Nigeria back. The old ways leads to war, continuous war, death, famine, a uh, 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 betrayal, um, stealing, um, this, uh, corruption. So many things with the old ways, and it has yet to change. Uh, 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 if, if AJ if AJ feels like he can do he can do a better job at it, why not? Let, let's let's let, let, what can what can we lose at this moment in in, uh, in, in Nigeria's uh, point? Where, where can where, where can we lose? We have nothing to lose. So you know, if if he feels like he can do a, a job a, a good job at it, or he could be a, he could be a, a political advisor, he could do such an amazing job. I think he should go go ahead and go for it. Um, you know, at at, at his age, he, he, boxing is uh, is number one to him. So I I don't see him anytime soon. Maybe twenty years from now. Maybe hopefully he'll be like you know, forty five in there, or maybe he'll endorse one of these uh, young political minds to do it. But if he says he wants to go ahead and and uh, run for president and be president of Nigeria. Please, by all means, man, uh, lead Nigeria into a new age. Well, uh, well, Joshua is a is a future uh, uh, candidate for for Niger for presidency of Nigeria. I think he's a future candidate, but I don't know if he want personally. I don't I don't I don't think he wants to do it though. But 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 I mean, I think I, I will advise him to do it. You know, Nigeria, Nigeria, I don't know, Nigeria like. Uh, <sighs> I mean, politics is just like bizarre bro I'll tell you that bro but we'll see maybe in the next five years things will change the youth will, will, will continue to rise up and fight for their right and then we'll see a revolution a revolution of uh the youths you know getting what they truly deserve what belongs to them you know because i think uh it's very important and we in the western world we know how it is but the youth in nigeria they are still stuck in the past and um, some of them have realized the goal, but just kind of afraid to speak out in a way. So, guys, stay blessed, the English Tumble, and uh, stay tuned for more exclusive content. Cheers.